Yo, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back at this um, house in Runcorn. I need to sort out the back garden really. Enough is enough now. It's been like this ever since I bought it. And realistically, it adds value to make it nice and clean looking. So I'm going to get rid of all this grass, the whole lot. And I'm going to put a new back fence in because the fence blew down about a year and a half ago. Just had a quote for that. It's going to be just under a, a thousand pound to put a back a new back gate four posts and panels along the back there expensive like a lot of money in it thousand pound like just for a fence so expensive the building materials in the uk is just ridiculous now i mean it's all over the world i think but the uk especially here it seems expensive to me so the shed it's too big really it does need to go um but I think I'm gonna leave it. It's all right, it's not causing a big problem and it is quite useful space. I don't like things like this though, where they've, they've left a gap, the person who put the shed in. Left a big gap, like, like two foot gap. Why do that? Why didn't they move it right over to here? That's what I would have done. I don't know. Maybe it's so they can paint the fence, but they never did that. It needs painting, look, I need to do that. I'm thinking of getting these boards here on this side as well and then painting my side. So I've got a brand new looking fence on this side, brand new fence on the back. And I'll do the same with this one here, just get those little boards, screw them on and then paint it all. And I'll have a brand new looking fence, the shed. Maybe I can paint that up, fix the roof a little bit. And it's, it doesn't leak like that, but it looks untidy. So I'm gonna cut that back, nail it back on so it's nice. And then the, here, I'm going to take all these slabs up that are all knackered like I'm going to put a flower flower bed along here with some just a few about three plants in bum 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 ones that are nice and strong plants that don't grow too big don't need looking after you know what I mean you kick a kip a football at them and they're going to be all right and then I'm going to put weed proof membrane down after I've scraped all this grass off and then put gravel down and gravel the whole thing and it'll be laughing cheap cheerful and it'll add about three grand four grand to the value of this house and probably cost two grand so i should double my money like it which is nice it's what you want to do as a property investor you want to invest into your properties you need to keep them in good order and this here needs a bit of love realistically it could do with new windows as well but the windows are sound there's no problems with them so I'm going to leave that. I'd like to knock through from the kitchen to the li to the living room there and put like a window in here, brick up the bottom part there and have under the stairs where you can walk directly from the living room to the kitchen and then have these back doors open onto your nice little garden, little table and chairs here, maybe a hot tub over here somewhere or over there. Nice, nice little place to chill out, a few plant pots maybe. Happy days, you know, a little barbecue maybe, who knows. But that's what I'm thinking of doing here. Thinking about it and actually doing it are two different things. And I've already, as you can see, cut the dandelions down with them things there. Got no lawnmower, I've got no tools, I've got shovels, I've got brushes. That's it. And an axe, I've got an axe. That's all I need, isn't it? To do this i think yeah most of it's just lifting bags of small stones or something into here and digging i need to dig the roots out of all of this like obviously things like this here i need the roots out of that that shouldn't be there should it so it's going to be a little bit of work but i think i can do it i, I feel i can do it the roots of this has to come out as well that's no good against me foundation there's my damp course here, yeah. so I can go two bricks below that and gravel up to there. So these slabs will come out, be all right, be laughing. Happy days there, I'm very happy with this. Easy job, or it should be. Just need to order, I don't know, what should I get? Like, um, one, two, three, three ton of gravel, possibly four ton. Four ton of gravel would be nice in here. 
be very, very nice. Good, that is what I am going to do. That's the next project in a run corn to sort out. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, give us a sub. Check me other videos. Bye for now.